What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tweak called Reminisc. Now what Reminisc allows you to do is actually go back to the five most recent applications you were just in. So it's not a full blown app switcher because you can only go back to the last five, but it is very useful and it works everywhere. It works in applications, on the springboard, even on the lock screen. So if I go ahead and swipe from the right here, that is Reminisc. So you can just tap and hold over that and it'll open right up. So let's go into the settings here. We'll slide to go to the App Store and it works really that simple. I mean it's that quick and even has that cool little animation right there where it slides open just like that. So let's go into the settings here and I'll first I'll show you that it does work on the lock screen as well just like that. So let's go into the settings go into Reminisc and here are all the options here so you can change up the animations if you want to there's a flat animation which is what I was using and you have an option to change up the flat animation style right here so first before we go into that let's go into the push and I'll show you what the push animation is so this is what the push animation is so you can see that it just separates itself just like that and we'll go up like go up and we'll go back to flat and I'll show you the difference that's the slide flat let's go to up and you can see what that does down of course it's just gonna slide down just like that and the split where it splits right in the middle just like that so it's pretty nice just to have the options of having a couple animations that you can choose from I personally like the push just because that's just my preference I think that looks pretty good now there are icon and label animation styles down here but there's actually no other uh, animation right now only only grow which is just when you slide over it the icons get a little bigger when your favor fingers over it so hopefully there's gonna be some more animations right there for that but let's go back and go into the behavior and obviously right here you have a uh, kill switch so if you want to turn it off then you can respring if you want to do that now the swipe side you can change from right-handed to left-handed now I was having some issues with this and that's because if you switch it like that you saw that I was swiping from the right with the right-handed but when you swipe from the left you can't actually swipe from the left until you swipe from the right one more time and then you can swipe from the left so it's a little awkward but that's gonna help you out in trying to figure out what the heck is going on with this but either way you can switch which side that you swipe from just by using left-handed or right-handed so I'll show you that again you're not able to swipe from the right until you swipe from the left one more time and then you can swipe from the right just like that so down here you have up down to swipe open so if you do that you can turn that on and then you can swipe down and it's going to open it up now you can't take your finger off and like tap on an application because if you take your finger off it's just gonna go away so you do have to drag your finger and open up the application from there so you can disable apps if you want to do that as well so if we disable it for the App Store this is when it's not going to work in the App Store so if we swipe over and go to the App Store you can see that it's not going to work so you can disable it just like that so let's go back into the settings here and you can choose to turn on activator only and activate I mean you have this little warning down here activate reminisce purely via activator actions and please note that this will lose the fluidity that was designed for it but will provide for better compatibility with tweaks such as Zephyr and mini player but let's go ahead and go back here and go into the appearance now you can blur the outside so if we turn that on you're gonna see that it blurs the outside when we open this up just like that and I think it looks pretty good I like the whole blur effect and I'm, I'm, I'm usually a huge fan of that so we can dim the outside as well so it dims and blurs if you want to do that and we can go to the icon fade so every icon is going to fade except for the one that we have our finger over so you can see they're kind of dim right there except for the music player so it gets a little better so you even have the app label fade right here so you can turn that on and you have to have the app labels turned on in order for this to work but if we go ahead and do that you can see the app labels down there at the bottom and we can put them at the top if you want to do that as well just like that so if we turn the fade off you can see what that looks like So you do actually have to respring, or I did, in order for the app labels to actually come into play. So if you don't have that enabled, if you enable the app labels, you'll have to respring in order to see that. Now the background here is also something that you can change. So we have the linen 
that you usually see like in the notification center just like that and we'll go to color and then you can choose the top color and the bottom color so we'll just choose something random here blue and whatever that is and it does a little gradient thing where it mixes the two colors together so you can see it's purple down there or back there and let's just change this to uh, let's do something bright let's do green and blue show you what that looks like so it's neon green basically right there but it's actually pretty cool I mean you can set that background to whatever uh, theme that you have you can make it match and make it look really good so this is a pretty awesome tweak and I highly recommend it let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com